What is good YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name is Maha and this channel is getting a lot towards this Infiniti 3.7 Q50 build I currently got going on as well as a 1966 Mustang Coupe with a 29 three speed manual. So if you're into any of the two type of cars or cars in general, man, go ahead, hit that subscription button, drop a comment down below and hit that like button. So YouTube can push this video out to more people like y'all, man. Um, again, we just hit thousand subscribers. I'm um, trying to keep it going, trying to see like, where this channel can really, you know, take us. But um, yeah, man, so without out of the way, today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to do a nice little um, top five uh, uh, car parts that I would guys recommend if you have a Q50 or, you know, you get the cars in general, whatever car you got. Um, it should apply to, uh, you know, all cars, all car enthusiasts. Um, you know, the top five things that you, the first things that you should do um, if you're trying to get into modifying your car. Um, but yeah, man, so I'm gonna try to get to a nice little secluded spot so I'm not disturbed and um, get right to the video. I hope y'all like that exhaust system. Um, if y'all interested in uh, what exhaust setup performance is wise, performance wise, I do have separate videos um, to explain all the parts and everything else I have done to the car. I'm gonna hit this spot real quick and then we're gonna get the video going. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So we just pulled up to a nice little spot here. So yeah, man, hopping it right into it. First thing I think you guys, you know, I suggest you modification wise done to do to your car, um, Q50 or whatever car you got. Um, lowering springs, or you know, lowering springs, or if you got the money, um, you know, throw out a little bit more more cash and you get um some nice decent set of coilovers. Um, you know, especially when you start doing wheels and all that type of stuff, um, you want to have that suspension sitting right. Um, Especially if you're trying to go, you know, aggressive, um, that flush, you know, stanced out look. Um, you know, even just depending on the car you got and the stocks you got, it'll still look good regardless. Um, any car lowered, even on your stocks, even on this car with the stocks, still looks good. Um, not necessarily the premium wheels, but the sport wheels on the Q, especially the red sport wheels. Um, and even these two, like a lot of people don't don't realize, some uh, some of the Qs actually come stock with um, these 370Z wheel um, 370Z wheels. Came off a of local trade, but yeah, man, you know, drop a couple inch drop, maybe an inch or two. Um, I would suggest uh, for a nice daily setup. Um, very very uh, very highly recommended for your first one of your first mods. Second modification I will suggest y'all do. Um, definitely an exhaust setup. Um, again, depending on what car you have, you have four cylinder, if you have a 3.7 Q50. Um, I've, I've heard actually some 3.0Ts with a uh, resonator delete and an exhaust, um, and a muffler delete. And it sounds actually pretty freaking aggressive. Um, pretty close, I'm not gonna say, pretty close to a 3.7. Um, uh, one guy locally has had that set up and it sounds actually pretty decent especially with that little blow off valve at the end um, Gives a nice little touch, but uh, yeah, man, you know, everyone wants to hear their a car um, Even you know, let's, let's listen to that My dog I'm gonna drop his Instagram there below so y'all can see it. Time and dog, I'm really chill. filming a YouTube video here, bro. Yeah? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna add your Instagram on there too so y'all can follow him. Follow my dog, man. He has a cleanest Q60 in my area, man. I'm telling y'all. You see them wheels? <clears throat> a little dirty now, but. Hey, it's still a little clean, dog. <laughs> Got a little puppy in there. <laughs> yeah. <Nice> <laughs> But yeah, man, like I said, perfect example, you know, my boy pull up here just now. Um, but again, if you're trying to be cost efficient, then just do a muffler delete. Um, most cars, it should sound decent. Just don't delete your resonators. If you have a four cylinder or even a VQ, um, they sound very, very raspy. So I wouldn't recommend that um, deleting your resonators. The resonators is, is the part that actually saves us from that rasp. Um, unless you have a full exhaust, because I don't have resonator, resonators on this exhaust, but as a full cat back exhaust, um, uh, from Arc Performance, I will link them down in the description below. Um, shout out to Arc Performance, um, that is their uh, 
the little logo right here but as it that is exhaust i'm running um leading to the resonated uh test pipes um burke test pipes um but that's what i did to achieve that sound i did have a muffler delete before this and like i said in my previous video i was not expecting to have this exhaust um so soon but i did come up on a uh used deal locally um very good very good condition and very good price so i had to hop on it because i was not gonna get that price um anytime soon after that so the thing i suggest y'all do is a lip kit um depending if you like the carbon fiber or not they do have different options you could do carbon fiber you could do um gloss black you could do matte black um again just throw your own style in it try to be creative with it um i do have full carbon here and then the diffuser itself it is gloss black um i might later on do that um turn this into carbon fiber um replace this and sell this um because the top is kind of fading on the top here this is where the sun beats on it the most um but it's still gloss black here as what the uh, led um brake light here um but again i still like the way it looks um it's not too too bad um but it is starting to you know the sun is starting to beat on it a little bit um but yeah man you know a nice little lip kit especially when you lower the car like i said in the in the previous um modification um uh, recommendation um it will just make the car make your car just look a little bit more aggressive a little bit more lower to the ground um to give that little stand slammed look again i'm not slammed it might not look like it but i am not slammed i still am able to um you know get into my daily places i need to without having to struggle too much i still angle don't get me wrong i still angle because this is full carbon fiber um lip and side skirts and i'm not trying to you know destroy that because i you know work for that and <laughs> it's a lot of money um it's a lot of money to replace as well uh but yeah man uh you know lip kit y'all can see from this angle right here makes the car look a lot more aggressive um depending on what car you got as well um but for the most part it will make your car look just that much lower even if you don't lower it but you still pull a lip kit on it it'll still look low um but yeah man so that's will be number three <clears throat> all right and going to the fourth modification i suggest y'all do for the first uh first set of mods is um, a set of wheels um now depending on the wheels or your car again uh, some cars come nice with stock wheels and some cars don't come so nice with the stock wheels uh, Again the depending on your car um, The Q the sport wheels specifically um, They're pretty nice if I did come with stock sport wheels. I probably would have still had those um, My car is a premium so it did come with those premium 17 inch wheels and I was not liking that yeah number five is some nice brakes um again going with the wheel um going off the little wheel uh recommendation is these brakes man you know looking good that's all well and good but you want to be able to stop at the same time um i do have the r1 concept drill and slider rotors i paid about i believe around 400 for the whole set um came with pads um and rotors and all the hardware needed um like i said you can see the drill and slotted it gives again a little bit more of a sporty aggressive look to the wheel to the whole setup um but again you know you want to be able to stop you know if especially if you're trying to push performance um that should be, that should be one of your first you know upgrades is, is it breaks um especially if you're trying to go performance um oriented type of build um mine is not too much of a performance you know build is more of aesthetic um, looks breaking necks daily type but again i am tuned do have exhaust i do have full cap uh, cap back exhaust with test pipes um so you know especially if you're trying to you know have fun with the car you might be able to stop um but yeah man so like i said number five brakes um it doesn't have to be you know drilling slot rotors but if you do like that look go ahead uh i'll say i heard a lot of people just recommend for higher performance better stopping is just to get the slotted rotors um not the drilled some people say that they create hot spots but i've had this on the car for a little minute now and i haven't had any issues so um you know i would recommend the drill and slide rotors i like the, the way it looks gives that just that more of a you know aggressive look to the car but yeah man so like i said 
Those are just the five things that I su suggest y'all get if you're st now starting to get into modifications of your car. Um, not too expensive, um, but again, it makes a very big difference to your overall uh, build and the start of your build. Um, you know, just to get your ball rolling of whatever you're trying to do with your car. But yeah, man, so again, thank y'all for watching. My name is Maha. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you made this far in the video. Drop a comment down below if you got any questions, comments, and concerns. And, uh, you know, rock with the channel. Hit that subscription button, join the family, man. Um, again, with that being said, my name is Maha. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.